back again yes it's our valentine but valentine or no valentine we have to do what is healthy and what is good for us please i hope you watch my video before this one i talked about roses how to use rose after you have displayed that in the home for about a week so this is the continuation of that video right now i will teach you and tell you guys how to make rose oil that is going to give those dry flowers some fragrances and also you can use them on your skin as anti-aging so the rose all we need here is some rose stem so i'm using like two rose stem rose stem so i'll be using two rose stem a jar glass jar and some oils two one this is one this is two and this is coconut oil okay so you want to get them out so uh, the petals of the roses is what we're gonna use so you want to put them into a glass jar And I really press it down. This is melted coconut oil. I had some hot coconut oil on my hands. Oh my God. And I put some salt. So that's why you're seeing all these things. I hope I'll be good by, I don't know. It's really hot in there. Anyway, so you want to put some coconut oil. You can choose any oil you want, but make sure that the oil you're going to choose does not have a strong bad smell otherwise it's going to dominate the fragrance of the rose so what i'm putting here is one of my favorite oil ace evening prem rose here please you can only do with one oil but i'm just showing you guys what i use because those oil these oils are very expensive only if you can afford it go ahead and search for that it's anti-wrinkle oil so I put a little bit of evening primrose this is jojoba oil jojoba oil I'll be adding a little bit of jojoba oil again this oil will make your skin as silky as ever and keep you and keep you looking radiant and young so I'll be adding few of this so the measurement you add depends on how many petals you have okay so i'm gonna close it up and i am going to toss this in a boiling pot of hot water in a pot of boiling water make sure the water goes at least water to half of the bottle and you're going to cover it and you will cook this for about 20 to 30 minutes on medium heat so after cooking these petals in hot water i cooked it for about 20 minutes and then i let it sit for one hour because i wanted the colors to infuse inside the oil and for the fragrance to start coming out so Usually you can leave it for overnight for you to start extracting the oil, but because I'm doing the video anyways <laughs> So it's time to extract the oil from here. You can see that the color has changed into purple Now we are going to extract the oil going to extract the oil. going to extract you want to dump it into here smell you want to press it down bring out all the oil now the choice is yours you can leave the petals inside this oil the warm oil but i want to take it out from the 
extracting this I'm gonna dump this back into the jar and I will put some fresh petals inside just to just to make it look colorful this is your rose oil you're gonna take a little bit and sprinkle on top of the dry roses after about one week this is when the smell of this rose will be stronger the older it gets the more fragrance comes out of this so put this in this jar just where you store your regular uh, oils like in a room temperature and uh, don't forget to don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the right hand corner and also hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a video thank you guys for sharing don't forget to share this so that all your friends and families will know how to make rose oil ciao ciao bye see you guys in my next video